because Satan uses world religions for his purposes. By the way, one religion he's used is when the true church of Jesus Christ, the Holy Catholic Church, it used to be called, became the Roman Catholic Church. That took place in the fourth century and it began going away from true Christianity rapidly. Purgatory, uh, the mass, the inquisition, indulgences, transubstantiation, the adoration of the host, that's where the Roman Catholic priest lifts up. Uh, boy, that's interesting. In the Middle Ages, you know, the Dark Ages, everybody lived in little villages, serfdom reigned, and Europe was very agrarian, and people lived were born, lived, worked, and died, usually within sight of the steeple of the cathedral. They never went anywhere, they just lived there. That's how it was back then. But every week they went to church and the Roman Catholic priest wearing all of his vestments would take a tray that had a little bit of bread on it and a little cup and he would go, in hoc corpus meum, that's Latin for in, hoc is this, corpus, uh, body, meum, my. So this is my body, in hoc corpus meum. And he would take what they knew as grape juice and what they knew as bread, and he'd go, in hoc corpus meum. And when he brought it down, he'd say, this has become the blood of Jesus Christ, and this is the body. Well, you grow up, since you're a child, watching in hoc corpus meum, and stuff you knew was bread and, and grape juice all of a sudden turned into the actual body of Jesus Christ. Do you know how that played out in society? Kids started going around and taking a rock and going hocus pocus. They were hoping to turn a rock into gold. Have you ever heard the term hocus pocus? That is a denigration. That's a, that's a, a guttural use of the Roman Catholic in hoc corpus meum. That is because the church descended into this idea that they could change bread and wine into the actual, literal body of Jesus in blood. They didn't just change it. When the priest lifted and elevated the host, right here, in 1226 it started, he actually crucified Jesus over again. Now do you know what Hebrews 10 says? How many times was Jesus crucified? Once. What does the Catholic Church do? At every altar, at every mass, in every cathedral, every hour they do it, they say we are crucifying Jesus Christ again. And if you will come forward and dip that little wafer and I'll put it on your tongue, you have participated in the sacrament of mass. Do you know what Roman Catholicism is? It's much like if you visit the hospital, look for a Carl if you do, but if you visit the hospital, there will be people wearing those little gowns that don't quite close in the back and they're a little embarrassing, you know, and they're walking down, they're, they're out after surgery getting their exercise and a lot of them are pushing a little four-wheeled gizmo that has a bag with a drip line to their arm. What do we call that? An IV. What are they getting? They're getting one drip at a time, something that's helping them get better or stay alive. That's the best picture I know of the Roman Catholic Church. You come to church, they poke you in the arm, and you start getting the sacraments. They start dripping. And you go through life hooked to your line to the church, and you get all your drips, but at the end of your life, you don't have quite enough to make it to heaven. So where do you go? The first doctrine of Romanism, purgatory. That's not in the Bible. That's why the Roman Catholic Church has the Apocrypha bound into their Bible, because purgatory is not in the Bible, God's word. It's in the 24th chapter of Maccabees, in the Apocrypha. And it says you can make prayers and sacrifices for the dead, and so they do. But God didn't say that. It's in an apocryphal, untrue writing from the intertestamental period. So you go through getting your drips, but you don't have enough righteousness to get to heaven. And so you have to go where? Purgatory. What's purgatory? To purge your sin. What does that say? Jesus didn't do enough. Religion says you've got to do, 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 and you never do enough. Revelation says God did it all. It's accomplished. All you do like Douglas, you say, I want it. 
Like Luther, I am yours, Lord, save me. Like Joel said, whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved.